What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today we're talking to Air Jordan 7, Sham Bray. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I started my own life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. All right, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. All right, so let's dive into today's video. We're talking to Air Jordan 7, Sham Bray. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over here today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release July 15th, to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $200, right? Okay, and of course, you know the kid glanced at the resale price, and right now look like they're going below retail at $180 and up, depending on the size, right? Okay, now, this shoe is like what? A retro show to speak or remastered at this point. Um, I think the original shoe dropped back in 2006, but don't quote me on that, but I'm almost positive it was 2006. So for those people who have been waiting for this shoe to actually re-release, here you are. Now I know there are some subtle differences with the shoes if you kind of compare the two, but you gotta expect that, right? Okay. Now personally, I see nothing but black and like baby blue or black and UNC colorway, but it's called Chambray. Hopefully I'm saying the name correctly because I think whenever I was doing my top anticipated like upcoming like sneaker releases for July, I was actually kind of pronouncing it wrong. So if I mess it up, feel free to correct the kid down in the comment section. Now we gotta give sevens the credit that they really don't get right. And that is comfortability, right? I know that there are a handful of sneakerheads out there where their favorite silhouette is the sevens just because based off the comfort. Now, one thing we can say about Jordan brand and Nike, not all of their shoes are comfortable, right? Some shoes you gotta sacrifice, I guess, the looks over the comfort, but overall we just kind of push through it and make it work. But the sevens is one of those, it's pleasing to the eye, but also for a fact, I will say this, every time I put on my sevens, which I don't have that many in the collection, but I do have a handful just to like, you know, I have some, right? But I will say this, comfortability through the freaking roof, man. I gotta give it credit where credit is due. But with all that being said, man, honestly, not a bad shoe, but something I wouldn't write home about. And to be honest, it's like one of those, eh. It, I'm also hearing this too, after doing a little bit of research, one thing I did wanna bring up is, I'm hearing on the 2023 release, right now the quality on these are not what we are expecting. I'm hearing like some quality pairs are good and some pairs is kind of like, you can tell they just rushed through to get the production done. Now also I see these kind of put your, pretty much are gonna be dropping from everywhere, from Dick Sporting Goods, all the way up to like Champs, Foot Locker, all them. So it's gonna be all the stores pretty much are getting them. So I personally don't think these will be a tough cop and also, with these already going to be low retail already on the resale market, yeah. And that's just common with sevens, man. To be honest, sevens, I'm gonna say this and I can't stress it enough and I probably already said in the video, they don't get enough love. And for the people who do love them, you know, double up if you want to or, you know, take your time to look at your pairs when you go to the stores, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna take that route. Cause I don't think it's gonna be a tough cop, but then again, don't quote me on that because sometimes the sneak community just moves in silence. Not really, but I mean, sometimes we kinda just last minute, just go for it all, so to speak, right? Okay, but I don't think these will go up in price over time. If they do, it'll be a slow, slowly nice up increase in price. But overall, not a bad shoe. Definitely good to see the shoe coming out again because like I said, last time we saw it was in 2006. Um, I am a Sevens fan for comfortability, but I am very particular on which Sevens I do cop, right, okay? But with all that being said, when it comes to these Air Jordan Sevens chambray, um, for me personally, they will be a skip. Not a bad shoe but something I wouldn't write home about. And just the fact that I've already like secured the UNC toe at this point, the Jordan 1 joints, I don't feel like I necessarily need these. And that may be your thought process as well if you already got the Air Jordan 1 UNC toe on the shot drops. So personally for me, these will be a skip, but I wanna know what you guys think down in the comment section and will you be going after these on July 15th, retailing at $200. And of course, let me know if you think they're drip or skip. 
All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out. I figured, uh...